While most of the education focus of late has been on the revived Gonski reforms, a new report quietly released this week confirms what schools across Australia already know. There's a huge funding gap for students with a disability. Social Affairs correspondent Norman Hermont reports. Hi Samuel! Um, it's great to see you. Um, do you want to take your jacket off? Yeah. And um, are you hungry? Yes. 15 year old Samuel Weston is home from TAFE where he's now studying life skills, like preparing meals for himself. I normally do it for one minute. So. Samuel lives with high-functioning autism spectrum wow. disorder. For the last three years, he was in high school, accompanied by a full-time teaching aide in the classroom. The aide helped me. In fact, I, it would be a lot harder for me to achieve my goal if, my, if I didn't have an aide. His mother says without the aid, school would have been a disaster. He just would have been lost in the system. I don't think he would have achieved any of his work. Samuel's school reached the same conclusion. He had to have an aid. There was no doubt about that. And, and that was never up for discussion for, for us as a school. What was up for discussion was finding money for that teaching aid. Samuel didn't meet the criteria for additional disability funding. His teaching aid cost $40,000 a year. And that's got to come out of the rest of the budget. That's correct. Not, not easy to do. No, but uh, no, it's not. Figures released this week reinforce the scale of the funding gap for students with a disability. The nationally consistent collection of data for 2016 reveals 269,000 students with a disability receive no additional funding to support their education. The government criticized the previous year's figures and even hired a consulting firm to review how the results were compiled. That report, also released this week, found overall the data is of sufficient quality. Part of our reforms is to see that data actually start to be used to inform funding decisions in the future. The government still says the data needs to be improved but the funding gap it reveals could easily cost the Commonwealth and states billions to close. Samuel Weston, for one, hopes that happens as soon as possible. I really wish that the government funded people like me, because in other words, if they didn't, these people will continually struggle. His school found the money. Many others aren't as lucky. Norman Hermont, ABC News.